Colgate represents the best four years of my life. And um, it, uh, all the successes that I've made in life, both personally and professionally, I owe to my four years at Colgate. It was just an awesome, that's the word they use today, experience. My story has to be when Bob Marley came and played at Colgate in 1979, my freshman year. I was so depressed about living in upstate New York after growing up in California. And I walked across to the hockey rink and I didn't even know who Bob Marley was. I went into the show and it lit my, my brain on fire. It wasn't even high or anything. It was just like an amazing, amazing show. I came back feeling like the world was technicolor. What was unique about the class of 1973 is we were the last all-male class accepted to Colgate. And so uh, Colgate has changed a lot, obviously, since then. I think for the better, uh, mostly because it allowed my daughter to be a Colgate student. Uh, she's in the class of 99, and I have a son uh, who graduated in 02. I'm Mary Hill, class of 83, and I wanted to say hi to two friends who I don't think are going to be here, uh, Michael Kane and Miriam Guerin. talked to Michael a few months ago. He's like, no way am I coming up to reunion. He doesn't know what he's missing. We wish you were here, but I hope we'll catch up soon. And Miriam, because I see you on television all the time, I have to give you a call and catch up as well. But I hope you're doing well. I uh, wish you we could be reconnecting at Colgate, but we'll do it in New York sometime soon. My fondest memory is climbing up, climbing up the hill from where the library is and uh, in the snow and everything else. And what an ordeal that was. And all I can say is that everyone's a wimp nowadays because you have a fence rail there and then you have steps I mean you know and you can go through a building to climb up boy you guys are really pampered <laughs> so glad to be back on campus after 75 years and uh, this is probably the first <laughs> alumni meeting I've gotten to since um, number 50 went to Cornell for a hockey game and the stadium compared to our stadium was so big and there was just a little crowd of Colgate but we shut them out 4-0 and so by the end the whole stadium was silent except for our little pocket. It's kind of surreal you know you come here and it kind of looks like the same place except for a few extra things, buildings I guess and people. Uh, well obviously my fifth year reunion and looking forward to all my best friends coming back and getting together and we've been talking about this uh, probably four years you know since we graduated and it, it'll be a great time to just bond again with them and be here at the place where we all met. Looking forward to seeing a few old uh, roommates and classmates and seeing what's happened with the campus. Ditto. <laughs> <laughs> So I live in Boston now, and I see people with Colgate shirts on all the time. In fact, there's somebody who lives down the block from me that I actually started talking to because he had a Slices shirt on. And <laughs> that was like, hey, Slices, Slices, you know. So I, I see people all the time, and I, I started going to the Colgate Club of Boston meetings more often because even though these some of them are people that I never really interacted with at Colgate, having the connection of having been in this amazing place is is something that, that is something that a lot of people don't have. I don't know if they still do this, but they had a winter carnival that they had every March, February, March, and it was kind of a, uh, a harbinger of the spring to come because we all know that the winter has continued forever here. But uh, I had some roommates from Wisconsin, Minnesota area that played broomball, and we used to have an annual broomball tournament that our dorm was always champions of. I met my husband here, so we, uh, he's class of 98 as well. And um, so it's fun to come back with him and just to see our our friends. My fondest memory at times of Colgate was actually going over to Seven Oaks Golf Course on the weekend of uh, Spring Party weekend to get the sand for Fiji Island to fill in our basement for having our beach party. So that was actually my favorite memory. The greatest improvement is all, of all is the gender balance that now exists. I thank you for having the gender balance.